I'm ashamed to be a woman. God made a mistake to create me a woman. I wanted to be a man. Amy Gazelle grew up in Syria, born to a Muslim family. Her parents and religious leaders taught her women had little value. Many times I've been beaten up for asking questions. Why I am created unclean woman? Why uh, that God create me less intelligent and I, uh, man has dominion over me? According to her family's beliefs, a woman had no guarantee where she'd spend eternity, even if she lived a good life. There is no grace in, in Islam faith. So a lot of women in that culture, they do their best to be a good woman, but they're deep in their heart, they are desperate for God that he may accept them and, and allow them to go to heaven. Amy was never at peace with Islam. I read the Quran and I feel like an evil spirit or someone has his hand on my, my neck and shocking me. At 18, Amy and her family moved from Syria to Egypt. There, she openly renounced Islam. I stopped praying, I stopped fasting, I stopped, uh, you know, uh, be involved in any uh, sort of, of uh, ceremony or any sort of, of religion practice. Amy learned English in college and took a job with a travel agency. While on business in the United States, she met and married an American Muslim doctor. But her husband began abusing her six months into their marriage. Even he was a religious man, but he has the mentality of Muhammad, controlling women. And I have been verbally many times very, very, very bad abused. After almost three years of marriage, Amy and her husband divorced. I felt like a failure because I failed in everything I have done. I lost myself totally. I didn't know why I'm living here and why should I live? Why should I continue to live? On top of that, she was plagued with the Islamic idea of hell. I feel like I'm gonna die and uh, God gonna send his angel to torch me, to torment me in the grave. I could not sleep and nobody wants to be friend to me because my face looks so miserable, bitterness, uh, resentment in my heart against anybody. And I became feeling I'm a victim of everybody. And I was, I felt like if I have the courage to kill myself, I would do it. When one of Amy's co-workers invited her to church, she agreed to go. But she couldn't believe that Jesus was God. It was so confusing to me. He is God, he is the son of God, and he's man also in the same time. And I said, God, I'm not gonna be deceived again. And if Jesus is truly, he's your son, and he is God, and he is the son of God, and he died on the cross for me to be forgiven, you must prove it to me. A few months later, Amy became very ill with gallstones. As she lay in the hospital waiting for surgery, she called out to Jesus. Jesus, I know you have healed a lot of people in the past, and would you please come and heal me? if you are true. I am broken financially. I am alone. I don't have family to care of me. And I cannot just survive during this situation alone. After I finished my asking and my request of Jesus, the room was full of light. And out of that light, Jesus came to me in real human body. And he stretched out his hands and he was close to me standing by my bed and he said come to me who are weary and carry heavy burden i will give you rest the words she heard in that hospital room were the same that jesus had spoken in matthew 11. but amy had never read these verses i saw the nails in his rest that's the way they describe it to me that he died on the cross and he he truly when he appeared to me, there is no one will deny him that he is not God. I felt like I am so dirty and so full of sin. And he is holy. He is righteous. He's beautiful. Doctors ran a scan to check Amy's gallstones again before surgery. They couldn't find any. I am healed, 
because Jesus healed me, the result of the, of the test came negative. There is no stone, there is no infection, and they test me physically, and they let me go. Amy started reading the Bible and went back to church with her friend. So it was his in here in my heart. It just um, the, that I need to make commitment and declaration that I am a Christian and I'm going to follow Christ. And I felt like something has been changed in my life. You know, you feel like your life has been completely changed. You feel like you are new. You are renewed. And that's how I felt. Amy was baptized. And her relationship with Christ freed her from the lies she learned as a child. It's given me eternal life that guarantee I am for God, I am set free. I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. Not the woman that I've been created less intelligence and have dominion over me by men. There is no dominion over me anymore. I have the power of God Almighty to walk every day in life. I'm not going to go to hell. Hell is not for me anymore. That's out of my life. And I totally live in the light. And I know I'm going to be for eternal life with Jesus.